שבחי ונסיך עשרה. This is שבח ונסיכו תס, נין. והיה מסעה נהר במועד וכמה פעמים ביצענו משמס לשמס. The Rebbe used to fast a lot. And many times he used to fast from Motza Shabbos until Motza Shabbos. He used to do it 18 times a year. Because that's the only time where you can fast from Shabbos to Shabbos. There's no Yom Tov in between and whatever it is. So he used to fast 18 times from Shabbos to Shabbos. And you can see in Sikh Saran in, in, in Simach Kuf Samach that once he was in Samach Shabbos Shabbos and in the middle of the week on Wednesday blood came out of his nose and his eyes and his mouth and 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 and, and it's the whole the whole mice that that uh, he was about to collapse so Heiko the uh, the Shamash so Rebbe and I will come on yourself so he, so he told them, okay, you know, go make some soup. So then he went and he made some soup, and by the time he made some soup, once he brought the soup, he put the, the, he put the soup down on the table, and he says, okay, now sing. That's how it goes, the chazan. Now sing. And he sang there, and the soup was standing there. Cool, though, he was singing. So himself, he finished the, the time, he went to the hall. <coughs> This is when he was still a teenager. It was before he was 20. Sometimes he fasted from one Shabbos to the next, one after the other. Even though he was, he was a spoiled kid. <clears throat> you know, it was his parents, he was a grandson. Well, Shemto, and it's like, you know, <clears throat> you know, it was a, a Rebbe Sheingel, as they say, you know, it's a, it's, they don't come any bigger, you know, they don't come any more, you know. <clears throat> it was good of the Tafnuk, and, and they grew him up, you know, it was, you know, with, with, at the lap of luxury, so to speak. By uh, Adam Dak, no, he was he was he was he was he was very frail. He was a frail person. He didn't have any rachmanus, any rachmanus on himself, and he fasted. This on the high and he he would fast eighteen times from Shabbos to Shabbos in one year. Mind you, you will see it in 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 Sikh Saran, the Abbe said <coughs> had he known the power of Tfilah, he wouldn't have fasted like that. He said it was a mistake. He said, I had a good body that didn't push itself. And I broke it down with, with Tanesa. Could have done this and much more just with Philip. But that was before, you know, that Rabbeinu was Megalonis. So he, this is how he used to. And when you, you do anything like that, you become a billionaire. When you do anything with such single minded resoluteness, you know, that. How all these people that are, that are, you know, the big rich people, how did they get there? They're so single-mindedly focused and driven, you know, they don't let anything get in their way. So they, or they, and they end up with a, a yacht that has a submarine in it. Wow. If you do the Ruchnius, mm. you become Tzadik Yisrael I'm not telling you something. 
This is the thing that, that made Rabbeinu into Rabbeinu. I mean, I said it all depends, as you see in the secret, it all depends on hard work. It all depends on hard work. So, you know, people think that big shama or whatever, this is no, 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 no. hard work. Rabbeinu said, if, if uh, 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 the simplest of the people, you know, people say, you know, Rabbeinu, uh, grandson of the Baal Shem Tov, obviously you reach this, you know, Madrid, well, how can a simple person, Rabbeinu said, if a simple person will put in the amount of work that I put into it, he will get exactly to my Madrid. So I asked him, Simcha, if somebody who is not in the of the Baal Shem Tov, would be able to put such work into the Baal Shem Tov. no. <laughs> this is not. <fine. laughs> but if Liyatsuya, if anybody would be that resolute, that, you know, focus, this is it. That's all, this is it. <clears throat> he will reach the same Adrena. So Abnosim asked at that time, but we see, you know, a lot of people that, that really toiled very hard on Mr. Shem, they didn't reach the Madrigal of Beit Tzvi. You know, fully expecting a to say, so, you know, Shamas, blah, 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 Beit Tzvi. Mustafa and Isha said, go on it. So, so Mustafa, they didn't work that hard. <laughs> the fact that you think that they worked that hard doesn't mean they actually worked that hard. You know, so Mustafa and Isha said, go on it. So Mustafa did not work that hard. Sichotes, Mishema Baal Shemta, this one of Locho, you don't give a knife as a present. In other words, one should not give a knife to his friend as a present. That's it. Give me back all the knives I have. What? I'm returning all the knives. No, no, it's just yeah. Just give your friend a knife. Don't give me a friend a knife. Okay. You also know, I have Rosh Hashanah is, a, is, a, is an Indian to buy a knife. To buy a knife. So friends don't, you don't give a knife as a gift. Atka Sicha Tess.